Hey everybody, good morning. I wanted to share, um, for those of you who weren't able to make it to the babies and kids class, I wanted to share what it's all about. So, um, my name's Amanda. I'm the mom of eight. We are soon to have number nine. Um, and a question I get commonly asked is, you know, do you use oils on your kids? And how do you use oils on the kids? And are they safe to use oils on your kids? And I'm here to say that I'm not a doctor, I'm not here to treat, diagnose, or prescribe. I'm just here to share how we have successfully used essential oils with our kids and how it's benefited us. So one of the things that um, commonly people forget about is that a lot of our wisdom and things that we've done has been passed down from generation to generation. There are things we learned from our mother or our grandmother or whatever. And so that wisdom through the ages is really, really important. And so that is one thing that essential oils have been used since biblical times. And it's kind of something that has been done for years and years, but was kind of rediscovered around World War II. Um, they were finding that using essential oils um, in different ways was very beneficial to health, which is something they knew because if you read the Bible, they're used all the time in the Bible. So that was one big thing that, um, you know, kind of brought it back around because people were starting to want to take back their health. And even more so now, I feel like our kids have been bombarded with so many different things that you know, weren't a thing 50 years ago. And so it is important to know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and um, the most safe and effective ways to do it. So with that being said, for us, we use a lot of essential oil infused products because our vitamins, our um, everything, it all works better if when we add oils. So we use essential oils in our food. We use essential oils, like I said, it's in the kids' vitamins, it's in my vitamins. Uh, we drink things you read because that's infused with essential oils. And because essential oils are natural and assimilate so well into the body, it helps bring some of those other benefits into the body as well. So essential oil infused products has been a big part of our life for, well, eight years now. Uh, we got our, I got my premium starter kit when Izzy was five weeks old, not even three weeks old. And um, we've used them ever since. We <laughs> we um, got our kits. I wanted more, more oils. I needed more things. And so I got on their essential rewards program and um, it has helped us to transfer by. And so it's something I strongly encourage to other moms to do because A, it saves money. Um, being a mom of a lot of kids, I'm always looking to save money and I'm getting amazing products in my home. So it's a win-win on both parts. So I'm here to educate you that if you so choose to use essential oils, yes, they are safe to use, but it is very important you know what you're using. And when I say that, what I mean by that is that there's a lot of essential oils out there. You can go to almost any big box store and find essential oils. Are they safe? No. <laughs> The reason they're not safe is because, and the reason you'll find so many scare um, tactics out there and things being said negatively about essential oils are the fact that there's no regulating system. So anybody can sell you a bottle of oil and it only has to be 5% essential oil and it can be 95% whatever they want to put in it. That is where, um, for us, we chose Young Living. Um, the Young Living oils are, we can, our Young Living controls the process from seed to sealed body bottle. This is the only company that controls the entire process, meaning we do not buy oils to the third party. We either own the farms or we've partnered with a farm. So we know exactly what is going into each and every single bottle of essential oil. So you don't have to worry about picking up an oil, using it on your child. The way oils work in the body is it's the lifeblood of the, blood of the plant. So it goes very quickly into the body. Well, if you have chemicals or, um, something else 95 percent something else that is also going really quickly into the body so that is where you'll hear stories about um, maybe a kid having a uh, burn with an essential oil or something like that because something else was in that oil that was not pure so that is where i'm here to say i do only recommend using young living essential oils that's my personal preference from the research i've done that is what i recommend so um, I just like that that's something that it's free from anything, any other chemical yucks. So with kids, um, one thing that I always recommend is starting with the bottoms of their feet. 
kids and elderly have more permeable skin, meaning that essential oils will go more quickly into their skin than they would yours or mine. Um, some people have more sensitive skin. So it's always recommended using a carrier oil and a carrier oil is not canola oil. <laughs> it is something like coconut oil or um, grapeseed oil or um, I use coconut oil mostly, but um, any kind of uh, olive oil, anything like that, that is a pure fatty oil, not a canola oil, not a vegetable oil. But then you take that oil, um, you can use roll-ons, you can use, like if you're using solid coconut oil, you can take the solid, you can add a few drops in there, you mix it up, and then you go ahead and apply it topically. So um, there's three ways to use oils. You can use them topically, which is a lot of, you know, putting it on the area of discomfort, whatever's hurting, um, or not comfortable. And then the most popular way is aromatic. So when you get your premium starter kit, the one thing that comes with it is a diffuser. And the diffuser allows you to put water with a couple of drops of essential oil in there and then diffuse it. So you're getting the health benefits of the essential oil without actually putting them on the skin. So this is great when you're starting with kids and just um, it's a great way to replace a lot of the toxins in your home. So if you're using things like Glade plugins, air fresheners, um, what was the other thing? Oh, candles. Those are all things that have fragrance. And if you've ever learned about <laughs> chemicals, um, any of my other classes, um, fragrance is the number one chemical. It actually hides over 3,800 other chemicals by using the word fragrance on your bottle. So my number one challenge typically when people are trying to cut chemicals and live healthier is check all your products for fragrance. And if they have fragrance on them, you're gonna wanna throw them out. <laughs> um, and it's not easy because there's a lot of things that contain fragrance, but that's a whole nother class. Um, so when you're starting with kids, I always recommend the bottoms of the feet because every system of our body is found on the bottoms of our feet. So whether you're trying to support the respiratory system or you know their immune system, whatever, it's all found there. So it's a good place to start. Now, um, like if they're teething or something like that, I like to use it on the gum line. So I'll do things like lavender or Copa Eva and I'll put it right here on the gum line. Um, we love Copa Eva directly on the gums. It's a very gentle oil, and so that's something we've done too. So if you have more questions about that, just message me or ask or post below. Um, so when you're talking ages zero to one, it's one eighth dilution, meaning like one drop of essential oil to eight parts of carrier oil. Um, if you're ages two to six, it's highly recommended that you do a one quarter dilution. So one part essential oil, three parts of a carrier oil. Um, ages seven to 11, uh, you're gonna do half. So equal parts of essential oil and carrier oil. And after age 11 or 12 and up, then um, it's recommended that you can use them full strength. It really depends on the child. It really depends on the situation. And I, my biggest thing is to encourage moms and dads and parents in general to be your own advocate and do your own research. Nobody's gonna spoon feed you the information, unfortunately. And so I think it's really important that we go learn what we're comfortable with. We um, make those little steps. So when we first started, we did things a lot, a lot of times in roller bottles. Um, now we've become a very oily family. So a lot of times we just grab an oil and we apply it where we need it. Um, but we've also become very comfortable with them. So when you're starting, dilution is amazing. Um, I like to show people this little foot chart, and if you want a copy of it, I can get it to you. But this is just showing the different systems of the body. If you're really particular and you're looking for, um, there's different like abdomen, pelvis, um, solar plexus, sinuses. It tells you what part of the foot. You can Google this. Um, it is a kid's Vitaflex chart. Um, I'm not that, if I'm gonna put it on their kid's feet, it's going all over their foot. So this is just a quick way for you to um, reference how to use essential oils. There are a few essential oils that they recommend you um, don't use with kids. And the reason being is that they um, contain like wintergreen. Okay, wintergreen is an oil that under the age of I think six, they don't recommend. Um, we use Raven. Raven has a uh, wintergreen in it. We diffuse it very frequently in our kids' rooms because it's a supportive of a respiratory system. So for us, I'm not super worried because when we diffuse it, we're putting, you know, two to three drops in a diffuser and diffusing it in the room. But that is my personal preference. The reason is wintergreen naturally has a constituent in it that's similar to what you would find in acetaminophen. Acetaminophen has a um, a 
man-made version of, I don't know if it's acetaminophen, but it, it's not, it's methyl something or another. But anyway, if you look up wintergreen essential oil, it has a natural occurring constituent that is very similar to what's in acetaminophen. And so because of that, it has a childproof cap on it. Um, anything containing wintergreen, which like Panaway and Raven, both contain wintergreen, have a childproof cap on it. And so it's one that you would want to use with caution. Caution. Clary Sage is another one for small children because it's a hormonal oil. Um, but in general, most of the oils you're gonna be using, um, I know hyssop is another one, uh, sage, Idaho tansy, and eucalyptuses. Um, again, eucalyptuses, they say not to use on children under age two, but a lot of that has to do with the, um, the grade of essential oil you're using. If you know what's actually in there, you definitely would never use an essential oil with eucalyptus on a ch child that you bought from whatever store in my opinion but again eucalyptus is in wintergreen eucalyptus is in um not wintergreen in raven and it's also in rc but it's super supportive of the respiratory system so it's one we diffuse very frequently in the winter months or whenever there's respiratory issues going on but we're diffusing it again using only two to six drops depending upon the space you're diffusing it in very little so for us it's something I'm comfortable with but that is something you need to make the decision on and the research on and if you're if you don't want to use it right now uh, a great one that I actually use on my baby babies is lemon frankincense and lavender all super gentle oils all super safe for kids you can start with the bottoms of their feet work up their spine and then do their chest neck area but it's very supportive of the immune system and also supportive of the respiratory system so there's always alternatives if that is something you're not comfortable with and you're not ready to go there that's fine you don't have to you don't have to use it so some of the mom must-haves is lavender why lavender is the, um, the Swiss army knife of, of essential oils super calming it's not gonna make you fall asleep, it's not gonna make your kids fall asleep, but it can help relax them so that they get a more restful night's sleep. It's also great for any cuts, scrapes, bumps, bruises, you name it, it is an amazing oil to use. The next one is Thieves. The reason people love Thieves is because it is super supportive of the immune system. This is an oil that we put on the feet uh, the bottoms of the feet daily and we diffuse a lot especially in the winter months in Minnesota where we're closed up and stuff we don't have the windows open um, kind of like you know there's ten of us living here <laughs> can be a petri dish of crud so thieves is super supportive of your immune system great to put on the bottoms of your feet on the daily and diffuse love doing it and of course we love cleaning with it so they have the thieves cleaner and the thieves cleaner you can clean everything with um, if anybody does get sick in our house I use the thieves cleaner as an air freshener because it kills the crud in the air so thieves is another must-have um, RC and Raven these are both good for the respiratory system I love to diffuse them if there is something going around. Again, the Raven and our RC contain eucalyptus and Raven contains wintergreen. So this is one if you have small children, you are going to either want to do your research on and make sure you're comfortable with, but both of them are great um, to make a chest rub. So if you have used something like a Vicks rub in the past, you just, sorry, I got something in my, you just grab this oil, put it with a little coconut oil and then apply topically to the um, chest and the bottoms of the feet. And then peace and calming. Peace and calming um, was not in the starter kit for a while, but it's back in the starter kit. And this one does exactly what it says. It is very peaceful and it's very calming. It's one we commonly diffuse in the kids' bedroom at night. And I will say this much because it has blue tansy in it, it is a few drops go a long way. So depending upon the space, one to two drops in your diffuser, this bottle will last you legit forever because it is very, um, very calming and it has a very strong scent. So I always say start with one drop. If you don't notice it, do two drops and if you want more, but typically one to two drops, especially for us who have been oil users for quite some time, we only use one to two drops in the kids' bedroom because they have a smaller room and whatnot, but it's amazing. Uh, and it's also one that if they've just had a really rough day, it's really good for pets too. So if you have a pet that's like kind of nervous, fireworks, things like that, you can use it on your pet. It works awesome. That's a whole nother class. <laughs> um, there's another one, uh, Citrus Fresh, and that one is great for any kind of odor. So if you have a diaper pail, if you have a stink in your laundry, whatever, grab Citrus Fresh. If you cook something nasty, or not nasty, but that left an odor, and you wanna get rid of that odor, that's a great one to diffuse. But I love it because it's very, also very uplifting. So it's one you can use with the kids. 
If you ask me, this one almost would be at the top of my list. I'm just going through some of the must-haves that moms out there want to have on hand, and that is frankincense. Frankincense is good for moms. It's also super supportive of your kid's immune system, so it is a great one to use, and it's super gentle. It's one we've actually used since birth with three of our kids now, since we have three oily babies. But um, if it's good enough for Christ, it's good enough for us is my whole theory, but it is very calming. Um, Anytime you're having those mom crazy moments where you just feel like you're gonna lose it, grab some frankincense, put it on your face, um, and just take a deep breath because it is super calming, super relaxing, and in my opinion, a mom must have. Then there is stress away. So stress away is another one that helps if your kid or you have had a really stressful day. Stress is one of the number one causes of disease and um, a lot of times death. And so if we can reduce the stress in our lives and reduce the stress in our kids' lives, we are just creating a healthier child overall. Um, and then another one is Copaiba. Now Copaiba used to come in your starter kit. It doesn't anymore, but I love it because it's an amplifying oil. And it's also um, super good for any kind of inflammation, super gentle. So this is one we would just rub on our kids' gums. Um, we do rub on their gums if they have a toothache or if they're cutting teeth or something like that because we've got kids losing teeth, we've got kids getting teeth, we've got kids um, all over the place. So Copaiba is one we use all the time. Plus it makes your other oils last 10 times or work 10 times or amplifies them. So it magnifies them times 10. So it's one that I commonly add to my roll-ons and different recipes. Um, another one is Valor. So when kids start to go off to daycare, school, whatever it may be, sorry, my nose, it just, um, this is an oil that you can apply. It's the Be Brave oil. So it's really good for us, for confidence, helps us to sleep. I always say if you wanna sleep like you're dead without the commitment, put some Valor in your diffuser and you will sleep amazingly. But this is the same for the kids. You can put it in their diffuser. I will say this much, um, Everybody's a snowflake, so what works well for one person doesn't always work the same way for the next person. But in general, Valor is really good for calming and it's really good for bravery. Um, and this is one you can, like I said, put in your diffuser and use um, to help them sleep. But it's also part of our Be Brave roll-on. So I have a kid who, um, tends to get nervous with a lot of things. And so this is one we put in there with a little bit of lavender and frankincense and it helps her to feel confident and get over some of those um, worries that she has. So this is another one of the mom must haves. There is also a line that they have, it's called the Kid Sense line. They're pre-diluted and you can just put a roller top right on them and use them. So they have one for like a sleepies, they have a snifflies, amazing when they start to get the sniffles. Um, they have a tummy gize, great for tummy issues. Um, but when you get your starter kit, they have a dye gize in there that you can dilute down in a roller bottle and use on them, uh, works great. But they also have, like I said, already pre-diluted, ready to use, throw a roller top on, you're good to go. Uh, they have a Genius, which is really good for studying or anytime they're doing a project. And then the fifth one is Sniffle Ease Tummy Gize. I can't remember. There's five of them. But they're, they're nice. They're pre-diluted. And they take the guesswork out of using them with kids. So, like I said, start on the bottom of the feet. One of the reasons that we use Young Living is a seed to seal. Um, when you get started, you get 12 oils. So you get lavender, or you get lemon, which is really good for your immune system. Peppermint, which is very uplifting. Digize, good for your digestive system. Thieves, which is good for the immune system. Raven, which is good for the respiratory system. Um, lavender, which is really calming. Citrus fresh for goods for odors. Panaway, um, that is the pain blend. So uh, more so for moms than it is for kids, but I have used it on my kids when they start to like have their legs are sore from, you know, growing and things like that. You can put it with a little carrier oil and put it on them. Frankincense, good for any kind of, if they fall and hit themselves, it's good so they don't bruise. Um, it's good for bumps and bruises and things like that. Stress away, uh, good to release stress. Uh, Valor is amazing for confidence and then of course um, peace and calming which calms them down and gets them peaceful. Um, so anyway, you get all 12 oils with a diffuser. It gives you a membership similar to like a Sam's Club membership. It's good for life. So anytime you want to order, you save 24%. For all 12 oils and your diffuser, you get some Thieves Cleaner, some Thieves Hand Sanitizer in there, 
and um, some Ninja Red, which is the juice that we drink. It supports your immune system, huge in antioxidants. You get that all, it's $412 value for $165. Super good deal. Um, that's how I got started. That's how I always recommend people get started because you have a very good toolkit. You have 12 oils that can almost help with any issue you're dealing with at that particular moment. It's kind of like your starter first aid kit. Um, so you get it for $165, lifetime membership, and you get my help um, whenever you need it. Um, I like to help educate my people so that they know why they're using what they're using. So if this is something that interests you, please let me know. I will put the link below so that you can grab your kit. And um, yeah, I hope you learned a little something. I hope it gave you a little confidence to use essential oils with your kids because it's hugely beneficial for their immune system and for everybody's overall health, wealth, and sanity. <laughs> so anyway, have a great rest of your day and thanks for joining.